the format of being robot. How long has it been since I got here? Why can't I still get used to all this? Why can't I still understand how I got here, why I got here, and how to get out? Now I don't even know if I need to keep looking. All I remember is that goddamn Roblox game. Why the fuck did I even play it? You expect me to give you a typical introduction about what my name is, where I lived, who my relatives and friends are, and other stuff? Too bad. Now, even I don't know who I am. Now all I can show you is an old diary of a man who suffered, or even still suffering the same fate as I am. I need to show people how terrible things can be, and why they should respect what they have, before they lose everything. Page 1, June 24, 2018. Hey there. This is the start of my new diary. If you're reading this, then you are a very special person. Today I woke up and ate my favorite breakfast, my mom's pancakes. No matter how many times I eat them, they never grow off me. So basically, I decided to meet with my friend in a park later, we always meet each other on Saturdays, and he was talking about some sort of weird court game on Roblox. Never heard anything like that before to be honest, but I'd love to try it. We spent a lot of time together, but eventually I had to go back home and spend the rest of my time there. Rest in peace. Page 2, June 25, 2018. Okay, hello again. I basically found a weird thing on Roblox today. It was like, a game called, Code, 1245334, or something like that. And yeah, that game had zero active players, zero likes, and 14 visits. And still, it was on the recommended for you page. Weird, right? Then I decided to join the game, and gosh, the screen was bright as hell. I had to bring my brightness down to play this game without hurting my eyes. So yeah, it was about a light pole, a small village in the distance and that's it. Yeah, it was just that. I am pretty sure it was like a simple weird court game that my friend told me about. It gave me that strange feeling I can't explain, like some nostalgia or some. I called my friend later and said that he had seen that game on his homepage before, but never played it. So it's not just me. Page 3, June 26, 2018. Damn, today was a very hard day. So look, I decided to meet my friend again, but right after that, my head started hurting a lot. That really pissed me off, but yeah, I had to cancel the meeting. I've had this headache for almost 5 hours, and it doesn't go away. That really annoys me, not gonna lie. And by the way, I can't eat anything. Yes, you heard it right. When I tried eating my breakfast, I saw purple and blue stains on my boiled egg. When I asked my mom about that, she said that there aren't any stains on it. Something similar happened to me when I tried eating some salad. The small ingredients had really weird colors, and the fork looked like it had teeth on it instead of those blade thingies. What the hell is going on? Page 4, June 27, 2018. Okay, this isn't funny anymore. I basically went out to buy some bread in the store nearby, and guess what? I suddenly fainted, and when I woke up, I was in a big green field. That already seems weird, but there's more. The area looked exactly like in that goddamn Roblox game. You know, I always thought that Roblox is a kid-friendly game, but this doesn't seem friendly at all. I have no idea what to do. I am lost here, and I don't know anything about what's going on. Page 5, June 28, 2018. So listen. I decided to open that Roblox game on my phone, yes, there was some internet connection to my surprise, and when I spawned, it was exactly the same place where I was. It was terrifying at first, but then I realized that I can just explore the place without even going anywhere. That seems nice. So first, I decided to go to the village. It was far away, though it was worth the try. Page 6, July 1st, 2018. I haven't written anything here in quite a while. I realized that I started forgetting more and more things with each hour, with each minute. I don't know if this has something to do with this place, but it's definitely not a good thing. So basically, I got to that village. There are a shit ton of houses, buildings, shops and other stuff, but nobody is there. Am I really alone here? 
I can't believe this is happening to me right now. I feel like the entire world just forgot about my existence now, and I have no idea what to do with this. Maybe the exit is somewhere here? Page 7, July 9th, 2018. I am sorry. I just can't write anything now, because absolutely nothing has happened yet. I don't remember how I even got here, what is going on with me? Why do I keep forgetting things? Why am I even in this village, should I look for an exit before it's too late? Anyway, I don't think I wanna give up yet. I will keep looking for the exit, no matter how much time it takes me. I am all alone here, so I definitely shouldn't worry about anything. Page 8, July 28, 2018. I'm done. I can't find anything. My memory is slowly fading away. I don't remember who I am at this point, I don't know anything about myself. I probably had a good life before this, but it doesn't matter anymore. I think I am gonna start a new life now, since I can't get out of here at all. It's impossible. I do have food, water and other stuff, so that shouldn't be that big of a problem. Maybe the fact that I don't remember anything is good, since I won't miss the things in the past. I won't write here from now on, most likely. If you did find this, you are a very special person. Page 9, November 14th, 2021. Ha, what's this book? Was this like, my diary or something? Well hello there. I don't know what are those stuff above me, is it like a horror story or something? Probably yeah. The weather is fine, I am happy and the food is yummy. This village is really nice. That's all I guess.